Hi, this is Linda Jackson. Um, somebody asked me earlier on how to do the text on the new Handy Quilter Pro Stitcher Designer program. So this is um, a very quick way of doing it. I'll, I'll just whip me through it. Um, it's fantastic for people who do personalised quilts and things. So I will take you through it very quickly and then you can all play with it later on. So we're in the Tools tab up here um, and we're going to click on Text. And I'm just going to start it off on this side. And if I just click, uh, and you can see that this little um, box thing has come up with nothing in it so far. So if I can actually start typing just there, or if I go across to the right hand side here, and I click in that box there, I can type whatever it is that I want to. Um, and I find it easy to do it in there. So if you bear with me, because I'm doing this all one handed now. And I'll just put Handy Quilter to start off with. Now to select, there's nothing on there at the moment. It's not changed anything on there because I've not applied it on there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the font first of all. So at the moment it's in Brussels 9 and I'm going to change that. You click on there and it brings up a regular font choosing uh, box. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to find... Um, let's have a look. As you can see, it's it's the usual fonts that you get on a, a word processor or, or anything like that, normally in Word or something like that, and it goes all the way down. So let's have uh, it's the brush script that I'm looking for, and it will come up. There we are. We'll have that one, Bermuda script. Again, you get the choice here of regular, oblique, bold, etc. And you've got your text size here. Now you can choose the text size there if you want. So I'm going to choose 16, um, which is quite bold. I'm not going to bother with the colours because obviously you're going to stitch that in different threads anyway. Sorry, over there. I'm looking at the screen and looking through the phone at the same time. Um, and I'm going to click OK. All right. Now you can see that's straight away. It's put that into the um, box there, the, the pink lettering box. If I come over here now... I can choose the height of the um, letters. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to make it quite bold and I'm going to make that one and a half inches. So I just click one and a half, 1.5 and click apply. And as you can see, it's now a lot bigger the writing. Now this is when you can start having fun. If you look here, you've got the alignment. Center, left, right. If you've written more than one line, that will apply. But because we've only got one line to write in at the moment, that won't. So now we've got the type, which is normal. And if we click on it now, we've got circle, path or vertical. This is when you can start having fun. And it's the circular one that I was asked about. So now I'm going to click circle and I'm going to click apply. And now we've got a fantastic circle there. And of course, the writing and the letters have been put into that area. I'm going to add some more writing. So I'm going to go here, back up to here, and I'm going to put, with one hand, Pro Stitcher Designer. Okay. And then I'm going to click Apply. Now when you look at it again now, it's tried to squash it all in around that area. So I'm going to come back over here. I'm actually going to make my writing um, two. Sorry, get rid of that bit first. Two inches tall. And that makes it a little bit bigger and a little bit easier to see. But actually, what I want to do really is have it going all the way around in a nice circle. So I'm going to give it something else to work on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make Pro Stitcher Designer a different line. So just insert the return on there, click apply. And now it's put it down there. Okay. I want it to be slightly different to that. And this is when you can start playing with things. There's a little yellow dot just there. You see? And I've clicked on that and I'm dragging it. And what that's doing is it's moving all the text around. Did you see? So if I do it back again, 
This is so much fun. And again up here, there's another one. And I can spin it around there as well. Now you can make these circles bigger. You can change the height of your lettering to, let's say, four on that one. And that's gone way too big because it's all running over itself. So I'm going to change it back to about three. Still too big. But of course you can make the circle bigger. Now, these little bits just here control the lettering within the word. So I can actually make handy quilt a larger or smaller along that circle. And the same with all of these down here. You see how that's moved it across there? It changes the spacing. Such fun. It's such, such fun. All of these handles have some sort of um, control over all of these. So these are just the individual letters, the space in between the individual letters. Can you see how that moves? Okay. And you've got line space in here as well. So if you've got it within the lines themselves, you can change that as well. So I'm going to change that to... Um, 35. I don't think it makes any difference on that one. Oh, it has it's altered it around on there. You see, you never know what's going to happen until you play with it here. That there is making it more of a an oval shape. Let me just pull back a bit. Can you see how it's changing? It's just such fun, isn't it? <laughs> okay, let's have another play. So, once you click away from that, as long as you've still got your letter on here, you can click on it again and go back in and keep on changing it. However, if you click away from that altogether and go into something different, you lose all of these handles and these controls. Okay. I just keep playing, sorry. Um, so you do lose all these controls and all these handles on it. So, um, in fact, I'll just show you that one. So I'm going to click away from there. I've still got my letter. I can click back on it. And I've still got all those controls. If I come away and I click onto something else, say pencil or whatever, and then I come back and select it, there's nothing there. If I go onto text again, I get a complete... Oh, it's come back onto that one. Now that was a surprise. <laughs> oh, no, that's right. Sorry. Sorry. 